as you guys can tell I'm sitting outside on my patio and it's a little bit windy and it's a little bit noisy but it's like 80 degrees out and it's so nice so I just wanted to film out here for something different. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully you can hear me okay. And fingers crossed that my dog doesn't start barking at the squirrels. Like she is right now. So a few days ago, I was asking you guys what you wanted to see more of on the channel. And the number one thing that I got was that you wanted me to make a Q&A video. And I haven't done one of these in a while. I think it's been maybe like a couple months or something since my last Q&A. So I just went on Instagram and you guys sent in questions and i'm just gonna be answering those today so i got some pretty interesting ones <laughs> so let's just get into it okay so the first question says where did you grow up and the answer is colorado i am originally from california i was born there and my family lived there for um, a while and then we picked up and we moved to colorado and i was basically raised here so uh, I think we moved here when I was like one or two, so I have no memory of living- Sophie! <laughs> There's this family of squirrels down there, and she wants to kill them. <laughs> Sophie! You're ruining the video! <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I was born in uh, Los Angeles, out in California, and then my family moved here when I was super young, and so I have no memory of actually living out there. But um, I've basically just grown up here, and I love it. I'm really glad that we live here, and I don't know if I would ever want to move anywhere else. I've thought about moving back to California at some point, and I might do that, I don't know. But for now, Colorado's home, and I love it. The next question says, do you ever think of getting a job or studying? I mean, don't you wish to try that life? Uh, not really. I'm trying to make YouTube and like music my full-time job and so I work it like a full-time job. I work um, usually like seven to eight hours a day uh, either recording or editing or making videos or like writing music and that kind of thing. So that is my job. Um, it's not like your typical nine to five job but I'm really really thankful that I get to do this and I'm just trying to pursue it and I'm trying to just make it work <laughs> so and as far as studying goes I just never really had the desire to go to college and uh, when I graduated high school like I just knew that that wasn't the road for me and that wasn't something that I wanted to do and so um, luckily my parents are super supportive of me and they like 100% supported my decision to not go to college and to pursue a career that I really wanted to work in and to try and make it work so that's what I'm doing and I'm super happy it's funny because every now and then like I'll try to take a day off and then on my day off all I want to do is work <laughs> which is like crazy and really really cool so I love it and I think that God's blessing it and I think that as long as I keep working really really hard and just keep having fun with it then I really hope and think that it could go somewhere have you ever thought about starting a podcast? Yes, I have actually. I've thought about that multiple times, but the only thing is I don't know like what I would talk about really, or like how to even start a podcast. Like I don't even know what what that looks like. Um, so we'll see. Maybe sometime in the future I could start one, or like some of my friends and I could start a podcast. I think that would be really cool. So no definite answer on that, but I've definitely thought about it. What is your favorite game to play at the moment? Oof, that's hard. I'm low-key ashamed to even admit this, but I, I play a lot of Fortnite. Um, and I play Skyrim, I play Red Dead Redemption 2, I play Tomb Raider. I think right now my current favorite is a tie between either Tomb Raider or Red Dead Redemption 2. Do you binge on any TV shows? Yes, I do. Um, I Right now I'm binging uh, This Is Us because I was watching that for a long, long time and then just got super busy and like didn't have time to watch it. So I've been catching up on the third season right now and my mom and I watched that show together. So we've been kind of binge watching it every night and that's been a lot of fun. <laughs> what are your biggest turn ons and turn offs? Well, I'm gonna start with my biggest turn offs with people. Just, I think if someone is like super arrogant or super full of themselves or like they can't stop talking about how great they are and that kind of thing that is like 
I will immediately dislike you. You know what's really attractive? Humility. I think humility and kindness and being just respectful, having manners, you know, those are all really, really attractive qualities. But if someone is super rude or like arrogant or full of themselves, like I mentioned, or I think too, when, when someone makes jokes at another person's expense, that to me is like a huge turn off and I'm just like, why? Why you gotta do that? Like, can you be funny and not have to like put someone else down in order to be funny? But as far as like what attracts me to a person or what makes me want to be friends with someone, um, I just, I look for qualities like kindness and respectfulness and authenticity is huge as well. Also, if you have a great sense of humor, that's awesome. That's a super attractive quality because I love to laugh. So if you can make me laugh, you're in. I will be your best friend. <laughs> How does it feel to be heard by millions on that commercial? So, okay, in case you guys didn't know, I recently got to record vocals for a commercial and I'm actually gonna make a whole separate video about that and like, about... <laughs> I'm gonna make a whole separate... Anyways, what I was trying to say is that I'm gonna make a whole separate video about that and just kind of give like a story time video and just talk about what that experience was like and share some behind the scenes kind of stuff of me recording it that I took and yeah. It was a really, really cool experience and the commercial took off once it went live and I think I actually cried <laughs> when I opened the video the day after it went up and I saw that it had over a million views in less than 24 hours and like I'm pretty sure I actually like started crying because I was just so shocked and so like just in total disbelief that millions of people were like listening to this commercial and like listening to my voice and that was just so surreal and so crazy and then like within a few days it was at I think 3 million views which is crazy that's absolutely crazy and so it's just that's my answer it was crazy it was surreal and super exciting and like made me absolutely start crying just from I think just from excitement and just from like saying like oh my gosh this is actually happening like what <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna make a whole story time video about that and go into detail about that, so watch out for it. Okay, the next one says, do a room tour, please. I actually already did, and I will link it down below so you can go watch it if you want to. Uh, I just did a whole room tour because I recently redecorated my room and wanted to show you guys all the cute little stuff that I put up and the way I decorated it, and so you can go watch that. The next question says, what kind of plans do you have for your future? And my answer is, I don't. <laughs> um, I, I've got like goals and I've got things that I'm working towards and things that I'm like aspiring towards and, and want to achieve and that kind of thing, but I don't have like a full on plan that's just like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go here and like, I don't have that. I'm very much just taking it day by day and kind of just working every day and working towards the things that I want and I'm just trusting God <laughs> and so God can just take me wherever he wants um, and, and I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what the future looks like, but I trust that it's going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. Ooh, this is a good one. When you feel alone, is there anything that helps? Yes. Right before I was diagnosed with my brain injury, I was going through a really rough time and I felt very, very alone and very um, isolated and super misunderstood and it was just a really tough time. And something that helped me through that was honestly just getting out more and like going to church, going to youth groups and that kind of thing and just meeting more people. I started going to this young adults group at my church and it was geared towards college students and like kids my age basically. And I just started meeting new people and we, we hung out more, we started doing game nights, we started um, going to movies and that kind of thing and just becoming closer and just building these really deep, authentic friendships. And we were all very like-minded and had the same morals and the same beliefs and that, that kind of thing, which helps a lot, I think, just to find like-minded people. And I started realizing that every time we hung out, I always left feeling so joyful. 
I'm feeling so happy and feeling so like lighthearted, I guess. And I've said it before, but I'm super introverted and don't really like to get out that much. Like my, my home is my comfort zone basically. But I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and I went out and just started making more friends and it completely helped so much. I think if you're going through something and you're feeling really alone or you're feeling very isolated or very misunderstood, I think my advice personally is to go out and try to start making more friends. Um, go find a youth group, go find a young adults group at a church if you can, uh, if that's something that you're open to. Um, just because I think there's so many loving people in groups like that like this group just welcomed me in with open arms and they were so happy and so encouraging and just completely walked with me through this really dark time in my life and made such a difference and so that's my advice uh, if you're able to do that if you um, can find just a solid young adults group of just like-minded people and people who uh, maybe are going through something that you're going through and kind of can relate to the experience and can can walk through it with you. I just think that that's super important and that is what really helped me out. So that's my advice. You can take it or leave it, but <laughs> that's, that's what I did because I've been there and it completely turned everything around for me. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for sending in questions, and if you made it to the end of this video, then thank you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too loud and too full of distractions. I know there was a lot of uh, sound <laughs> going on because I've never filmed outside and was not expecting it to be this loud, but I wanted a change of setting, so. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button right down there and turn on my post notifications if you want to know when I upload new videos and I upload every Wednesday and every Saturday now, and I would love to have you join our little internet community. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Well, this is Sophie. She's been growling and barking at the squirrels this entire video, so... This is, this is the little demon child that you just heard throughout the whole video. Why do you want to kill everything that moves? Huh? That's not your dinner. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>